do a quick demonstration of the CNC JS server. This is the interface, and right now I need to home it, so I'm going to home the X-Carve. I'm going to click on the home button. Could have also homed it by the touch screen there. Okay, it's homed. <clears throat> I'm going to jog it with the keypad so that I can set up the tricorta. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have to hold this camera while I'm doing this. Let's move over a little bit, too close. Set up, hook up the magnet. I'm going to do a, a 1 8, 1 8 bit, 3 axis homing. I'm going to go over here and I have these buttons <coughs> pre-configured in CNCJS. I'm going to pick the 1 8th bit, 3 bit axis or 3 axis. Click it. And if you come over here, you can see that it's in a hole. Just hold it so it doesn't move. To the web interface. I'm going to load my G code and see. Let's see. Finish designs, and I have this in a folder. It's three different cuts. So, first, I'm going to cut a pocket cut that I've created with the G code. Or now it's loading it up. There's the two pockets that are going to be cut first. And I'm going to put the dust boot on. And I may have to, I may have to pause this long enough to do that. Yeah, I'm going to have to pause. And I have the dust boot on. <clears throat> I have my file loaded up. And just for good measure, I always like to go back to zero. Now you can see it's not, it's where I left it with the tricarat, tricorotra. I'm going to zero it back out, just for my own selfish needs. So I'm going to click the zero, X zero, Y zero. It's going to move it to the corner of the center of my material. Now I've got my um, pocket cut out loaded. Now all i got to do is hit this little play button. This play keeps track of all the coordinates. We also have the G28, G30 button on here. The run state. You can actually pause it on the screen. Uh, you can 
see on screen, it shows in real time what it's cutting. How much is left. Over here, keep track of how much time it's going to take. I can adjust the feed rate if I need to. Progress. So I'm going to pause it for now until the next cut for the next tool path. And I'll start it back up. Two clean pockets. I already changed the bit to a B bit. Already zeroed it out. I'm going over here and load up my next tool path. And there's my V car tool path. Let's select that and open it. And that's going to be my V carbon. Right now I got it in G30 position. I'm going to send it back to Z0, Y0. Actually, I'll do that from here. So you can see it in action. Okay. Put the dust boot back on. Actually, i got to bring it up a little bit. Using the keypad to raise it. car path set up. Now we already got it loaded. We're just going to hit the play button again. We're just going to send it on its way. When it finishes with that, I'll come back and record some more. Alright, we got the V-car tool path finished and now I'm going to, I already swapped out the bit to a and 16th for the detail cuts and I'm going to bring it back over to center because I just zeroed it out. <clears throat> Got my detail tool path already loaded. All I'm going to do is hit the play button. That's pretty much it. That's the interface and how to use it.